Hi guys! Today I'm going to be showing you three easy, large-scale Christmas decorations you can make without spending a lot of money. If you like these projects, make sure you also head over to Facebook because I've got a social cut of this video posted over there so you can share it with all your friends. So first up, we're going to make this hexagon wall art installation thing. Print or draw a hexagon and cut it out. Then trace that onto the back of a piece of wrapping paper several times. Cut out all of your hexagons. To make it Christmas themed, I also decided to add snowflakes. Fold a piece of paper to make a six-pointed snowflake and cut out whatever design you want. You could glue this right onto the hexagon, but since I think the folds look a little messy, I traced it onto cardstock and cut that out so I would have a clean version. You can also stack multiple pieces of cardstock on top of each other and cut them all out at once so you're not cutting for hours and hours and hours. To be honest, this would have been way easier with a Cricut or a Silhouette machine, but I kind of forgot that I had one, so I did it by hand, but you know, Use the tools you have. Anyway, once you've cut out your snowflakes, use a glue stick to glue each one onto a hexagon. Make a bunch of these, some with snowflakes and some without, in all different colors and patterns. Hang them up with pieces of painter's tape, since they're super lightweight and they only need to be up for about a month so you don't want to damage your walls with this project. I love how this came out. It adds so much color to the room and it makes such a big statement for only the cost of a few rolls of wrapping paper. Next, I made this lovely little treescape Again, out of wrapping paper. For a project of this scale, I first mocked it up in Photoshop and made a pattern that I could print out and tape together. I'll have this pattern linked down below if you don't want to do all of that work for yourself. So once I had all of the triangles cut out, I just traced each one onto the back of green wrapping paper. If you do this, make sure to label which piece is which so that you can keep track of them later. And then, once again, just use painter's tape to hang each triangle on your wall. If it ends up covering a light switch, like mine, just cut the part that overlaps and clean up the edges with a bit of washi tape. And that's it. Once again, we've made a large-scale decoration for only the cost of two rolls of wrapping paper. I love how this adds a pop of color behind all of my other Christmas decorations. And make sure that you stay tuned to this channel because I'm going to have a full Christmas apartment tour coming soon where I'm going to go through where I got everything. Finally, for project number three, we're going to make giant gingerbread men. Once again, print out the pattern, which I'll link down below. Trace it onto a cardboard box and cut it out. This step is optional, but to make it a little brighter, I painted it with copper paint. 
Once that's dry, you can add decorations with puffy paint the same way that you would add icing. I decided to go for a pretty classic design, but you can make yours as wild as you like. I love how the puffy paint is really textured. It's so 3D and it's really satisfying to squeeze on there. And I think this would be a really fun activity for kids to decorate their own gingerbread men or for a bunch of your friends at a craft night. Once they've dried completely, just hang them up with, once again, painter's tape, and you're done! I only made three, but if you have a lot of boxes, you could make a bunch of these to put all over your apartment. So I hope you guys liked those ideas. I'd love to know in a comment how you're decorating your apartment or dorm room or house for Christmas this year. Bonus points if you have ideas that are super inexpensive. And if you're still watching, use the word hexagon somewhere in your comment and you'll just be my favorite little Christmas elf. That was weird. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Make sure you like this video and subscribe for new DIYs every week and Merry Christmas!